We would love it. As soon as it is up on my wall, I just need to pause it. Otherwise we get background. Where's that pause button? There it is. Cool. Welcome everyone. I'm hitting record because we also have a podcast. We have a YouTube channel and we have a podcast. And Taylor, I probably am going to have you go first, um, if that's okay with you. So I will in a second, but first things first, welcome everybody to the ER Shred Come Alive call. I am your host, Sean Escobar, our wonderful ER Shred ambassador and nutrition coach, Jesse James Jamnick is here with me. He was just telling me how he broke a rib uh, in his fitness recently. So have, uh, you know, we're all feeling for Jesse. I'll try hard not to make him laugh tonight. You, sometimes I'll bring out the cow head that's on the wall there. That usually gets him pretty good. <laughs> but, uh, you know, laughing hurts when you have a broken, a cracked or a broken rib. Guys, uh, just an announcement by way of intro here. Um, we have decided that by having, you know, too many calls, that's my son, too many calls on any given week, um, that it can be diminishing, if you will, and that we we probably make a lot of our community tribe members um, feel pulled every which way. Uh, you know, I can't attend every call, so I'll attend this one. And so our hope moving forward is that we're going to have a solid one call per week, and we're going to alternate between a come alive call um, weekly, bi-weekly, excuse me, every other, every other week. And then Jesse on the subsequent weeks will host his shredder, living the shredder lifestyle call. And by doing this, our hope is that people won't feel conflicted in terms, you know, do I go to Jesse's call? Do I go to come alive? You know, our hope is that we can maintain more concentration. We've discussed this as a board. This is what we've decided to do um, moving forward. And we hope that you guys will find this more simplistic. We're always trying to refine things and get more simple. And we don't want you guys to miss content. I've even had people say, man, I, I'm trying to catch up with all the content. Our whole thing is like, we love to add value. Like we love to bring value. We want to, you know, and so maybe to, to our own demise, we, we probably bring a little too, too much value too frequently. We don't want to do that. Also, on another note, we also want for our tribe members who are actively uh, reaching beyond themselves, um, those people who are actively trying to build a supplemental income source, passive income source via this protocol and this community and you know these products, we want you guys to have that time on a weekly basis. You know, when you're trying to share person to person, when you are reaching beyond yourself and helping others, that time in the evenings is prime time. Um, that's when people are not at their job. It's when you can get a hold of them and, and you know, actually speak to them, converse with them, connect with them, share with them. And we want you guys, we, we want to honor that as well. So uh, we want that time to be treated as very uh, important and that you honor that yourself and, you know, do that work, put that work in rather than feeling obligation to attend, you know, two, three, four calls a week. Um, with that in mind, keep in mind that we will also, once a month, we'll have the Shredder's Mindset Call with Crystal. She's going to move that to a Monday. Um, it'll be Monday Mindset. And then, you know, still, we'll, at the most, we're going to have two calls a week. So rest assured, that's our plan moving forward. Periodically, we'll probably, you know, put in there um, other just special featured calls. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are all in agreement that that's going to make it easier for you to show up and for us to all be there in a in more concentrated manner. <laughs> all right, you guys. So tonight we have our first guest. Um, and I want to post a disclaimer in the chat on our Zoom. I posted a, a disclaimer on our Facebook Live. I hope someone out there went and shared our calls in the groups so that our participants there can 
can see that. Hold on one sec there. This is boom. Our first guest tonight is Taylor Flanagan. Are you out there, Taylor? And I you know am to... here. <laughs> You're good at this. Welcome. <laughs> Hello. Well, thank you for taking the time. It appears as though you're taking the time during uh, your your work break. Yeah, yeah, I'm just on my lunch break. Thank you so much for making this a priority. I didn't have to twist your arm. You were very, very accommodating. You're in Australia, right? I am, yes. Brisbane in Queensland, Australia. You're calling us from the future is what we like to say. <laughs> um, my father is actually from Adelaide, Australia. So Australia Amazing. is very near and dear to my heart. I love that. I love that. Yes. And who was it who shared ER Shred with you? Uh, so Jackson Parr. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's <laughs> pretty cool. He's him. he's a miracle worker. He He's a life toucher, that guy. He is. Absolutely. Yeah, he's incredible. He's incredible. And I saw your post. Everybody look up the name Taylor Flanagan in our group at ershredders.com and check out that post. It is amazing. So make sure you go look that up. That's how I became familiar with Taylor. Um, real quick, Taylor, so people can get to know you better. What is your passion in life? What do you love to do? What are you all about? Oh, um, I am a social butterfly. I love working with people. Um, obviously, I work with Woolworths. Um, it's a supermarket here in Australia. So I get to work with large teams of people. Um, I'm a team leader. So I coach and develop people. Um, that's probably uh, my biggest passion is a bit of selfless service. I love helping others. So um, yeah, when Jackson helped me with this, I was like, this is amazing. So wow. yeah. That's cool. That's right. Right up our alley, right in alignment with what we're all about. Um, because we, our whole intent is like help yourself and then turn around and, and help others. That's, that's fantastic. Um, and then give us an idea, like how long ago was it that you started shredding? Um, so it's probably been almost three months now, um, okay. that I've been shredding for. Yeah. So give us, I want to let you kind of take the, take the mic and run with it. Give us an idea of life before doing this protocol and then, you know, quality of life before, and then what kind of, what unfolded for you and what kind of results have you seen? Apologies for the background noise. There's an airport no, it's right fine. next to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, life before shredding. Um, I was unhappy. I was overweight. I was tired. I was lethargic. I seemed to have like a consistent brain fog. Um, I couldn't really focus on anything. Um, work was struggling a little bit. Um, I was struggling to sort of give it my all at work and help, you know, the people that I needed to help and, and show up for them. Um, I was sort of pushing my social friends away because I just didn't have any energy, um, becoming a bit of a recluse. And that was kind of like negatively impacting me because I am a social person. Like I do feed off other people's energy. So it was a real struggle for me to just like not want to be around people. Um, a bit of that was obviously, you know, a bit shameful of like how I felt and how I looked within myself as well. So yeah, that was sort of life pre-shred. Um, I'd obviously known about isogenics for quite a long time. I'd had success with the, the system many years ago when I was introduced to it um, and just kind of fell off the wagon a little bit. Um, Jackson has kind of always been in the background there. Um, and sort of touch base with me every so often. Um, and I, I'm not really sure what the catalyst was, but I had just a moment where I reached out and I was like, I think I'm ready to do this again and like really go all in. And he was like, well, there's this new thing that we're doing now. Um, it's called the ER Shred. He added me to uh, the Facebook group and I read through all the guides. And honestly, I was really excited about it. Um, I wasn't really nervous at all. I love meat. I am a big meat eater. And this kind of took away all of the decision fatigue that I'd had previously when, you know, trying to eat healthy. What is balanced? Do I cut things out? Do I not cut things out? Is that realistic? Is it not realistic? Long term, short term, all that sort of stuff. Um, so giving this a go was really exciting for me. Um, and just within days, I was like, I'm sleeping better. I still have plenty of energy. 
the brain fog lifted and like it, it only takes like three or four days probably and I was just like this is game changing I you know I could feel in my body as well I was less bloated like my stomach was a little bit flat which you know when you're looking in the mirror that's always really lovely um my clothes were fitting a little bit nicer as well. Uh, and it was easy. Like I didn't really have to think about it too much. I had my shakes, you cook up a nice medium rare steak, you're ready to go. And I didn't have to worry about like overeating because I was so full. I was so satiated that I could sort of eat as much meat as I wanted. And I wasn't, it wasn't going to be a detriment to me. Right. Um, so yeah, even like things like snacking on boiled eggs and things like that, like it was just, it was so easy. Um, and yeah, the, the results is obviously what drove me to keep doing it. Let's um, talk, it let's was, talk about those. What are these, what, what are the, the results in terms of, I mean, I know what everybody's wondering. You, you talked about some of those things. Um, yeah. I saw your before and after picture. Do you mind me asking for those out there who are curious, um, did you yeah. lose weight? Did you lose inches? Uh, both. Yeah. So I lost about eight kilos. Eight um, kilos. Is that yeah. about, I want to say that's, that's like, uh, that's is that like 19 much. pounds? I think it would every... be roughly that. I think it's 2.2 .2 per kilo. Right. Yeah. So it's probably yes. about, about 19, 19 pounds, 20 pounds. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's incredible. Yeah, that was across two months. Yeah. Um, so I did, yeah, like two shreds. Yeah. Um, over the two months. And yeah, just I think one of the biggest ones for me as well was that when I did start adding foods back in, I could feel my body and mm -hmm. feel when something was upsetting my stomach. Whereas previously, I don't know, I guess because I felt so like meh quite consistently, I wasn't able to determine what was actually making me feel that way or not. Um, so yeah, it, like cutting everything out and removing that sort of decision fatigue. And I was able to actually like hear what my body was telling me. And now we can just avoid those foods, which is awesome. Um, but I think there are sometimes you still have a, a little naughty treat here and there that you know mm -hmm. is going to upset you just like anyone sort of I know Jackson talks about it with like lactose intolerance. A lot of people are lactose intolerant, but they still want that ice cream every so often. Right. So if I go out with friends, sometimes I will indulge in something that I know. Can I show out. your, um, can I, oh, sorry. You said when you go out with friends, you sometimes indulge. Is that what you said? Yeah. I'll sometimes indulge in a meal that I know isn't really going to make me feel that great, but right. um, it's a meal that I do enjoy eating. So yeah. Can I I'll just, um, that's fantastic. I like that you were use the word indulge rather than cheat or, you know, rather than cave or because I prefer the word indulge. Jesse is big on that too. It's like, we make choices. We know yeah. the ramifications of our choice. I want to talk about how you, you talk about those feels, you know, that's the depth of ER shred. You're talking about, you know, this intuitive nature of being able to feel for the first time. I want yeah. it for everyone. I just want it for everyone. Because what's so cool about it is the reason we can't feel is because we eat too many damn things. We don't know what's doing what to us. We don't have a clue. On top of that, we have too much interference. We have too much going on. We, <laughs> it's like, well, my, my, I've got all this pain. I have energy funk and brain fog and I have, you know, all this inflammation. I'm bloated. I'm gassy. I have cravings. It's so much interference going on. Good. It's like a zil. It's like you look at your car and it, it doesn't just say check engine light. It's like check engine light, check carburetor, check, check transmission. It's like check, 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 check. Good luck with that. But the ability to interpret is, is what you're speaking to. And my God, is that a gift? And you're empowered. Is that the word that comes to your mind is empowerment? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. God, I love that so much. Do you mind if I show your pictures here that you posted? Is that okay with you? Yeah, go for it. That's fine. Put you on, put you on the spot. I know Aussies are pretty authentic people. Um, <laughs> they really are. And that's what we love about our Aussies. The Aussies that have come on board and Jackson's played such a huge role in that. The Aussies are like this. They're like such a special part of our overall tribe um, because they've just brought so much goodness to our community. Here she is, Taylor Flanagan, 
uh, from November to January. Check this out, you guys. Just I'm just going to keep talking because if I don't keep talking, it'll probably change the visual here. What goes through your mind when you see these? People are clapping for you, by the way. What goes through your mind when you see uh, these these pictures uh, there, Taylor? Why did I let it go on so long? That's, yeah, that's, I think sometimes you don't realize how bad it's gotten because it's such a slow descent into that sort of negative environment. And to see how quickly it can be reversed when we, when we listen to our bodies and when we do the right things for our bodies is just mm. insane. Like the, the turnaround is so quick and it's, like with the ER shred, it's so simple and easy to follow as well. It's like, why don't I do this earlier? That's what I think. Yeah. We're so damn resilient. We punish these bodies. Yeah. We put them through hell. No other animal on earth puts their bodies through so much hell for so long. And it's mind boggling how quick we can turn it around when we give the body what it was intended to have. It's, it's a little trippy. It's amazing. Absolutely. I have such mad love and respect for you, especially because it's, it speaks so much to us that you would take the time during your lunch break. Because why are you doing this, by the way? Why are you sharing right now with us during your lunch break? You could be peacefully having your lunch, taking a breather. Like what what motivates you to come and do this? Um, sometimes I think you need to hear from different people how it's helped them. And if one thing that I say resonates with one other person and I can help one other person, then it's worth it. So, yeah. That's, that's good stuff. That's really good stuff. Thank you. Also, I want to, I want to share something with you from a personal point of view um, that I think will make you very excited to continue ER shredding. And that is that the awareness that you've learned about your body and the foods that you eat and the empowerment around that is going to, in a very unexpected, very, I'd like to call it even a little bit eerie. It's like a little bit eerie, right? Yeah. It will spill over into so many other areas of your life. You will, now that you have the ability to interpret, you will begin to interpret so many other things in so many other areas of your life, your spiritual, all these ER shredders are all nodding their heads. It's so cool. So I'm just going to put it on gallery. You guys, it's so cool because that ability to interpret spills over into your relationships. It spills over into your spiritual health. It spills over into your mental health. Jesse talks about that all the time. Like he's been so big on that. It spills over and that spillover, it just makes your life better and better and better. And of course, the credit goes to you. It's not all the credit doesn't all go to ER Shred, but maybe ER Shred is just that mechanism, just that little simple mechanism that first gave you the ability to interpret, um, which you never probably had. I know I didn't for 30, you know, 40, 40 years of my life. I didn't know how to interpret. And when I learned, it was like, oh shit, <laughs> can we go back in time and, and let me start over? I think I could have done better, <laughs> but hey, we got a, we got all the years ahead of us to look forward to. We got all the people that need our help. That's exciting. Absolutely. Yeah. And we're here for it. Yeah. Taylor, can we all throw swords up for Taylor? Oh, who is an ER shred warrior now? It's official because she came Thank on the you. call. She shared her results looking to empower others, looking to help and motivate others. I hope that uh, if you need to hop off the call, please feel free to do so. Go I go will, eat yeah. some ground beef or some eggs. Go put something good down. Can, can, can I, I will I absolutely. Thank you yeah, so much. Yes, say goodbye. Fun, say good. Jesse, Taylor, wish her well. Taylor, yes. Taylor, thank you so much. You are, if Sean would let me swear, I would I would do it in Aussie fashion, but you are <clears throat> amazing. Just... <laughs> Fill in the blank. Um, one question. You sure. rocked this through the holidays. You you destroyed this through the holidays. Yeah. I'm fascinated. I'm curious. Like, uh, people people do the opposite. Like, how did you do it? Did you feel deprived? Did you feel like you were missing out? Like, I mean, that's that's crazy to me. So I think because of the chaos of working in retail over the silly season, my home life outside in the silly season is very quiet. Um, I have a very small family, so we don't do like massive celebrations or anything like that. 
Um, mm. I just skipped the work Christmas party. Um, yeah, I didn't, I like didn't drink the whole time, which has actually been mm. um, amazing. I haven't, I haven't had a drink all year um, mm. and it's been fantastic. So yeah, yeah. it's, it just doesn't you, align with what I want for myself at the moment. So I, I love that so much. I love that so much. So you decided to put you first. Yeah, absolutely. Is, is and I've I'm been hearing. putting, yeah, and I've been putting everyone else first for a really long time at the sacrifice mm. of myself. And I didn't realize like it's it's all good and well to help other people, but it was at the sacrifice of myself for, for too long. So yeah, yeah this year's yeah. about me. Mm. I hope you're so proud of yourself. I know we are. Um, that, that's Appreciate a huge, it, guys. huge, huge accomplishment. Um, and, and I definitely want to reach out to you and learn more if, if that's okay. So absolutely respected my message. <laughs> awesome. no worries, Have an guys. awesome day, girl. Thank you so much. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you. Thank you. See you time, everyone. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesse, for, for chiming in. Um, I think Jesse got so excited about that share that he forgot about his rib hurting. Um, <laughs> Jeez, unbelievably cool. You guys, I love the word she used. She used the word decision fatigue. I love that. You guys have heard the word carb drunk. Carb drunk is another one that I really like. You know, another thing that I like that Aussies have taught us and use a lot is the word confronting. And they use the word confronting in the context of, you know, when we learned from ER Shred that meat is not this this dark, awful, evil, unhealthy thing. It was very confronting. And what they mean by that is that it just went against everything that they'd ever been taught by governing bodies, by, you know, their their, you know, nutrition experts and and so forth. I like that word confronting a lot. Mm. Okay, Jesse, let me whip through these others because I know you're gonna have more to share. Um, right now we're gonna have an update from. Oh, by the way, real quick, thank you, Jackson Parr. I hope you hear this. Everybody reach out to Jackson, tell him, holy crap, you're such a superhero. He just keeps on impacting people's lives. We wouldn't know about Taylor. We wouldn't have that result. We wouldn't be able to enjoy her presence and her our, our new kinship if it wasn't for Jackson Parr. That's the way that this industry works. Tracy Williford, are you out there? Yes, hi. Hi, Tracy. How are you? I'm so good. I'm probably <laughs> a little bit better physically than you. Tracy had a ski accident and she's awaiting a, what was it, a repair on the knee? A new ACL. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting a new ACL. Yes, yes. I uh, heard I'm, that I'm supposed to request a running back ACL. <laughs> Make me faster. <laughs> I love that. I love that. You, you, you run on one leg. Otherwise, you're going to be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But you're an athlete. I mean, you're you're an avid, you know, let's talk about you. So you hail from where? Miami, Florida, originally. Yes. And who was it who shared ER Shred with you originally? You did. Thank you. Unknowing, unknowingly. 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 And I was searching for answers and you popped up. There you go. There you go. And you are also, uh, I, I just want to put it out there because I always love to uh, give shout outs to Mimi. Mimi uh, Terrell, who is the heart of ER Shred, you know, the OG, the, the award is named after her. Um, this is her sister. So, you know, shout out to Mimi. We love you. Um, I'm sure you'll hear this. All right, Tracy. So what is your passion in life? So, um, you know, I thought about that for a while because you ask a lot of people this and it's really um, about healing, but it, in my later years, it's about holistic healing. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I work as a physical therapist and I was all into healing, self-healing and healing others. And I realized like, there's a lot of misdirection in the area of healing. Totally. So, so people, totally. you, you actually to... uh, wrote about that today. Yeah. I mean, people, I even had it wrong. <laughs> Thanks to ER Shred, I figured some things out. But, um, you know, even just treating a shoulder or treating a neck or treating a back. Has anybody gone to a physical therapist that asks about their nutrition? Mm. I, I haven't or stress, but I will say that stress and 
nutrition create inflammation and inflammation travels all over the body. Mm. So I ended up going from one shoulder to a knee to a, you know, for different people. I'm like, well, what's going on here? It's bouncing around. And, and I think the secret ingredient is, is inflammation and stress for a lot of it. So, mm. so I yes. try to treat the person more holistically. So that's my passion is getting the word out whether it's stress reduction, mental hygiene, but shredding is the best <laughs> and the easiest. I'm telling you. Yes. The best and the, the best and the easiest. And, and the easiest. Yeah. It's I love the easiest that. Thing. I love that. It's not, it's, you don't have to twist my arm to, to eat like a king or a queen, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Give me, how long have you been a physical therapist? 30 something years. Yeah. So I just want to mention guys, you know, this is a health professional we're speaking to. I always make sure to, to uh, appreciate and, you know, to acknowledge that this is a health professional who does not need to, to give her endorsement, who does not need to put her reputation, uh, her credibility on the line. And yet she is. Um, why are you doing that, Tracy? Well, I've, I've seen what doesn't work. <laughs> And I've seen the horrors. I wrote about it today. I, I can't, the horrors of what I see with poor diets and poor doctor's recommendations. So um, I, I've treated everything from head injury to trauma to orthopedic, everything. Mm -hmm. But the elderly and the people that start to get infirmed is where I ended up towards, um, there was a transition in my life and I was like, okay, I'll do some home health. And when I looked at their counters and what was on it and the amount of bottles with pills in them and they're all supposed to fix them and they keep getting worse and worse. And I'm like, if I could clear this counter off and give them some really solid nutrition, yeah. I'm wasting their money. Otherwise, I really me going there was wasting their money. And I started to feel so disingenuous that I actually finally stopped because I knew that what I was doing was just collecting money and they weren't getting better. And, and it was so sad. It really was, it broke my heart. So. Yeah. You're going to, anyway. you're going to supercharge our other health professional on the line. Jesse gets really jazzed about this stuff because, you know, is living in our eighties, nineties, is it, is it really that much to brag about in terms of longevity? If the quality of life isn't there. Um, it's you know. for the birds. No, yeah. it's suffering. It's really just living suffering is what I've seen. So yeah. Yeah. How long ago, how long ago were you introduced to ER Shred? So I got introduced on the first round in October of 2020. Dang, I joined you right I just, away. I saw I just, your first video and I was all in. No way. Because I've been reading a book on primal. Uh, there was a head injury guy that wrote a book on the primal way of eating. And I was all in with the raw butter and he was even eating raw meats and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, it's prime. And then you pop up Captain Caveman. And I'm like, okay, there's a group. And I know this guy and I can do this. And he Thank got more so primal. Much. The more I followed you, it was like, yeah, this is. <laughs> it's because the more I go, the, the further I go it there. It gets better. It gets better. I ate bone. I ate bone marrow on my, um, um shoot it was our anniversary we went out and i got so two bones and i was dying i was like i was a vegetarian i'm like oh my god i'm i am so scraping savage. the marrow out but i'm gonna be honest i couldn't eat it raw like just like that i, I had to put it on a piece of toast because <laughs> 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 i was like okay maybe next time i'll eat it just like it is but i you have know to, crystal like, crystal's not there yet either i ate i uh, two different servings of bone marrow today. She's not quite there. She, you know, she said, I can put it on like an almond cracker. I could put it on. Yeah, an that's, cracker. that's it. Okay. Next hey, man, time I'll get, try an almond cracker. get it in you, get it in you. Um, I want to, I want to talk to you about your results. Um, and initially, and then I also want to talk to you about that post that uh, I love so much about your, your, your back and your skin. And then I also want to talk about longevity. So let's start there. What was your okay. initial, results with the R shred, what kind of got your attention? Okay. So I know you have the disclaimer in there and I was really looking up what was happening with my skin and mm -hmm. my hair. And it said it was an, inf you know, inflammation mm -hmm. or, and I equated inflammation with, um, being acidic, mm -hmm. but I had been to the doctor and he had done blood work and he's like, you are so alkaline that it's actually off the charts. So it completely blew away 
my whole theory, like I had to like step back and go, okay, I'm wrong. Because if I'm that alkaline and I have this condition that's so inflammatory that it was making me miserable and I was losing hair um, and I, I didn't know what was wrong. And then you popped up and then I saw um, Crystal with her skin and I'm like, you know what? I'll do anything to heal. I'll go backwards on 180 on everything I've ever done. Yeah. And I was so into it because I, I didn't know what was wrong and I couldn't have been eating more healthy. I was completely vegan at the time. I, I had tightened up my diet. I zero of my treats, any of my treats. And it was all of a sudden I was like, what's going on? Right. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, if you saw my meals, they were so complex, you know, cashew dip and all these vegetables in the huge pile of, colors and rainbows and everything that I thought was right. And, um, you know, and everything was breaking down. So, so you're, you're, you, this was a very not, you teed it up, you teed it up and now I'm going to let you hit it out of the park. What, what is this? Tell us, I'm just going to show people, hold on. I see, I see a picture on the left. I see a pick top picture on the right. The picture on the bottom, not only is whatever was going on is, is appears to have, uh, resolved, but the also, in terms of, of shape and muscle, um, lean muscle mass and, you know, just being kind of shredded, if you will, like I see a lot going on there that's very exciting. So can you speak to this? I, I will because I, it, I'm shocked because the first picture was when I started. The second picture at the top was after the 11 days. Mm -hmm. The one underneath is 30. I, now I work out three times. I love to work out. I mean, I love to be active. So I worked out, I work out three times a week and I play tennis two or three times a week and I do Pilates or something else sort of stretching and stuff. So it's not that my activity did not change whatsoever. If that was all in that, I don't know. I, I can't, it's do you, the magic do you of the look at show. your, do you look at your lower back? You know, that, that lower picture where you're back. I mean, good God, you look like a gymnast or a, a, a like an Olympic swimmer or something like that's insane, insane contour and, and uh, physique. Like, do you look at that and go, damn, <laughs> you know, I, I never did. Cause all I was suffering was my skin uh. it wasn't until it popped up on my screen and my daughter said to my husband, is that mom's back? Oh my God. And I went, Oh, there's, <laughs> it wasn't just the skin. I actually had some muscles and I never thought about it. Yeah. Like it never entered my mind, but now that, you know, somebody pointed out, I was, Oh yeah, I did kind of have muscle showing up. That was probably underneath all that other stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What other, what other things did you notice in terms of result? I have to correct that with the protein going in. Mm -hmm. I think that that was muscle building versus not before. And what was your saying? What was the other result? Yeah. Just what other, what other There's, things did you notice, so, pick up on, learn everything, okay. quality of life, so, uh, quality of fitness, everything. The ease of dinner. Um, when I first started, I remember everybody coming alive in five days. I could not get up my stairs and I run three to four miles at a time and I would get up the stairs and I would be like, Oh my gosh. So I had to cut way back because my body had so carb burned for so long yeah. that I had no idea how to burn fats and protein. Right. Because I, I was protein. I don't want to say deficient, but I just like black beans is not going to do it. No. Right. Um, but I did eat fish a couple times a week at that point. And that wasn't cutting it when I picked that up. It had, it was, um, it was the meat. <laughs> it was the meat. And I hadn't eaten meat since I was like, oh, uh, junior high. Yeah, yeah. I kind of got, got off meat pretty early. Um, so anyway, um, what happened was when my energy did come back, I, I couldn't believe it, but I didn't really, it's like one of those aha moments. I went for a vacation and I was with a large group of people in the mountains and I'm a flatlander. I don't hike. I don't do any of that stuff. And they said, Hey, you want to go on a hike? And I thought, Oh, it'll be easy. And they started hiking. These guys were 20 and 30 somethings and I'm double that. And they started down this hill at 4am in the dark. 
and all we had was our phone lights and I was afraid I was going to get left. So I was highly motivated and I sprinted down all flat surfaces down. It was a three hour hike, got to the bottom. And when I went back to the top, the girl I was with, she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, what? She goes, you blew me away and I run marathons. And I'm like, well, I didn't want to get left, number one. But number two, I realized that I had so much more endurance and power than I've yeah. ever had. And that's when I realized, okay, there's something really going on here that I had no idea until I tried something like that. Yeah. I felt that too. So, I felt bi- I felt bionic. I felt so bionic. Like power. I, it, yeah. Made me, made me cry, brought me to tears. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought, was like, I thought I didn't I, know life could be so good. <laughs> exactly. And mm. that I could still do it at this age. I'm like, yeah, no yeah. problem. <laughs> so cool. So cool. I, um, I really love all, all that you're sharing. I'm, I'm so grateful for you and that you're around and that you, you know, have you kept up with the meets for over two years now? So absolutely. There's been some moments where I'm like, boy, I wish I could feel this good and eat the other way. And then I just realized I can't, but what I, and I haven't surprisingly, I don't miss all the vegetables. Mm. I think there was even a post about the amount that goes through us that gets discarded waste. Like I can remember thinking I'm using everything I'm putting in my body now versus having this massive amount of stuff going through my body. Um, So now my sides are like mushrooms and avocados and they're simple. And my plate is highly meat. And the proportion would be, if I have a salad, it would be super small. It Mm -hmm. might be once or twice a week max. And maybe a, you know, a vegetable here and there that don't bother me. I don't have a sensitive stomach, but my favorites are like mushrooms, easily digestible stuff. Mm. I'm super, super happy. And like, I'm not missing out on anything. You can't pay for these types of, uh, of uh, testimonials, you guys. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't afford to pay for them. I want to ask you one more question. Um, unless you have anything else you'd like to share, I just I have a, a last question for you. Okay. So the question is this. Have you noticed, um, you know, I know you love your sister very much. Um, I know you care about her a lot. Uh, you, that much is apparent. Have you noticed the changes in her? Um, I've noticed, you know, her and I chat somewhat frequently. Um, she is one of my most favorite people on the earth. Um, I've noticed really cool cognitive and emotional changes and enhancements in her. Have you, have you noticed that as well? Oh, Oh, absolutely. Um, Yeah. If you go, if we go way back to pictures, there's pictures, but there's even a video that um, when she first came up North closer to me, where there's no way she would be riding a bike uh, walking was difficult. Speech was difficult. Um, and now she had to clear her body of a lot of things, but I, with the ER shred, it's a vibrancy that wasn't there before. It was a struggle for her before. Mm -hmm. And, um, like everybody, including me, it keeps getting deeper with her. She keeps going further, conquering more. Uh, we all have ourselves to conquer <laughs> inside um, and uh, it never stops. But, um, you know, I think the ER shred, like you were saying, gives you more things, not things, depth into well-being. And sometimes we can mask that stuff with being outside of ourselves. And somehow I think the shred invites us to tune in. And when we start with food, other things happen in our lives that we start to tune into. So it's just a, yeah, that's what I noticed with her, but Thank it's, you. it's a, it's a gift for everybody. Believe it. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's, that's amazing. Um, you, you gave me those goosebumps all over my whole body. Um, you, you made me feel, you said it even better than, than I did. And that's why I asked the question is because I'm sure that you know, your observation of her is, is even more 
um, meaningful than, than mine with you being her sister. I also think that the community itself is nourishment. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I hope that people can see that one of, one of her breakthroughs more recently that she shared with me privately, I just kind of looked at Crystal and I go, damn, like, damn, like this woman is really growing. Like she became self-aware and I, I'm not going to share what that is, but the self-awareness, because that was privately shared with me and I honor that and I would never share that publicly, but the self-awareness that she's experiencing um, is, is next level. And uh, I, I was just so grateful that she was, that she felt like it was a safe space for her to share that with me. And anyway, I love you, Tracy. Um, thank you so much. Love you all. And I really appreciate the community. Jesse, man, you know, I tune in all the time. You don't know it, but I'm listening to all these whenever recordings, I have it in my ear. It's so inspiring. And Sean, you just pick everybody up. You allow us to be us. And that's what's so liberating. And it allows us to do that work inside. And um, not many people are bring that out in others in, in this mm. world right now. So it's, it's such a gift. And I keep telling people, just don't, don't leave the group. Stay in the group. Stay in the group. It, it's so powerful. So thank you all. And um, if you come to St. Everything. George uh, or, or, you know, if I was up north, I don't know how often you're in Park City now or whatever, but um, I would really love to get together in person. So I just want to put that, to, put that we'll out do there. That. And my son and uh, grandkids and daughter-in-law are there. So we go a couple of times a year and I'd love to do that. Yeah. So let me know. Keep me posted. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you thank for inviting you. me. Thank you so much, Tracy. Jesse, I'm sure you're rearing to go. You have to wait. I'm so sorry. Um, hang in there because I know you have a lot to say about what Tracy just shared. But this one, this one on that note, Jesse, um, let's have Tammy Martin. Tammy Martin, are you out there? I am. Can you hear me? What's up, Tammy? <laughs> How are you, Tammy? Thanks for joining us. I know you joined us on, on short notice because I, I said we ought to just have you on tonight. Um, where are you calling from? I'm in Pasco, Rhode Island. Pasco, Rhode Island. Who shared ER Shred with you? You and Crystal. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and, and we're going to get to something else in a minute here that I think is very cool for everybody to know. Um, <laughs> so with thank you for that. With that in mind, um, what is your passion in life? My passion in life is my family, and I love traveling. Passion in life is family and traveling. That's fantastic. And, uh, you know, I know Jesse's just itching me for me to ask the question. Jesse, why don't I allow you to say hello to our friend Tammy here? And, you know, maybe we can all just talk amongst each other. Um, what do you know about this gal, Tammy, Jesse? Hi, Tammy. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited you're here. So for the record, uh, if it wasn't for Tammy Martin, I wouldn't even be standing here today. So Tammy is the person who was brave enough to hound me down and share isogenics with me originally. And Tammy and I worked together a, a while back uh, in a precious metal refining company. And we were literally like a window apart. So I mean, the relationship that we got to build, we, we, would, we would have fun. I mean, this place is kind of like that. but we would have fun. Uh, it, we always made it fun and entertaining. And I mean, she knew my puppy. She knew my, my dog Summit since he was a puppy. She knows my, my daughter Kaylee. Um, and when I worked there, you know, again, I've, I've been doing this for a long time. And, um, you know, I didn't think I needed anything, right? Like I, I was, I was an athlete, I was jacked, I was shredded, I was this. And Tammy watched me selling supplements out of the back of my trunk, like a madman. I mean, thousands of dollars worth. You had me trying them as well. <laughs> I had to be trying them too. Here's some samples, you know, uh, I didn't know what I didn't know. Um, this was a while ago. Uh, and she was like, you know, you should really try something like, oh, come on. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, this is where, you know, I tell the story of my ego getting in the way for a while. Um, you know, she, she Tammy's daughter, 
Um, she, she had to come in. She's a scientist. She had to come in. She tricked me. You know, we had lunch one time and, and they came in and started. She's like, oh, I'm going to get in with the science. I'm going to get in with the science. And eventually, that's literally what she did. She saved me from going to another company. She literally saved me from going to another mm -hmm. company. Um, thank God, right? Like, and um, yeah, I'm just so thankful for you, Tammy. I'm so thankful for you. Our relationship has continued. Um, I'm so excited for you. I'm proud of you. I know your goals. I know what you want. I know what you what you deserve in life. Uh, man, I am just so excited that you're here. So I love you to death. And I love I you too. You're in Orlando. Because she's traveling oh. to Orlando. Oh, yes. you're coming to Orlando, Tammy. Yes. All right. So Isogenic Celebration 2023 in Orlando, you guys, July. Come come be with us all. Tammy. Yes, definitely. I, I gotta ask you. You know, everybody now knows that you're this badass dragon slayer. Like you slayed the beast. You you slayed the beast. Like we all love Jesse. We all appreciate Jesse. Jesse has shown up, you know, uh, definitely as much as me. And, <laughs> and you know, I, I can't say that anybody's shown up more than him. I, I can't even say that I've shown up more than him. But he's special to us all. We're very grateful for him. Um, he operates from a very sincere, genuine place. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't know him. So thank you for that. So I just want to say that I knew Jesse's passion with nutrition and stuff because I watched it every single day. And I listened to him talk to people every day at work, pouring sugar on the table, saying this is how many tablespoons is in that soda. And, you know, just doing all the visuals. And um, so I just knew that Isogenics was the company for Jesse. And I wanted him to be a part of us, our community in Isogenics, because I knew what he had to offer. But I also knew because of his science background that when he almost went to the other company, I got on the phone and I, I called my daughter Tia and I said, Tia, you gotta get here. You gotta come here at lunchtime and you need to come and talk to Jesse. So I had Jesse, but I don't want to say Tia was the icing on the cake. I have to say that Tia was the butter on the beef, <laughs> on the steak, because she Perfect. hooked them. We both got them, but she oh. had to share that science. So, yeah. God, I love how you say butter. I butter. like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay, so it doesn't matter what uh, weapon you employed. You're, you were mm -hmm. smart to have her. You know, you were the one that oh, employed yeah. the, the, the tool there and the resource and the weapon. So you guys, can you, who wants to talk about your ER shred experience, Tammy? What's that all been like? Like what, how did that unfold? So I have been following you and Crystal. I, fo you know, I follow you guys um, since I met you when I went to first celebration um, back in Las Vegas. I remember your daughter actually came to dinner with us as well. Yes. Yeah. We were all at dinner together and, uh, the two years actually, I only missed, I don't, did they have it in Salt Lake? They had it, right? Never did. Never did. Okay. Cause I wanted to go and I didn't. The last one was Nashville that mm -hmm. I went to. Um, but I listened to everything and I was like, I wanted to try it because I was always a meat eater. And then I was cutting back on eating beef and stuff because, you know, I was told it wasn't good for me. Mm -hmm. And, but in Isogenics from, I've been in Isogenics since 2015, I believe it was, mm -hmm. um, when my daughter got me on Isogenics. And I had been eating pretty clean, like 80, 20. I had lost 30 pounds doing um, the first Isobody that I did. Um, and I had just felt great, but, and I thought I was doing good and I'd fluctuate. I, you know, be doing good. And then I kind of go back the old way. But since I've been doing the ER shred, I do the shred. And my biggest thing from my first shred, I had lost eight pounds in that 11 days, but I didn't realize how much inflammation I was carrying because mm. I had lost overall 24.75 inches. 
And I went down to pant size and I couldn't believe how inflamed I was. Even when I had taken my photos, I never really actually even seen inflammation in people. But now I see it all the time in people. And I have so many family members that I do share the ER shred with. And I only can do what I can do and just hope and pray that one day they'll just keep watching and they'll decide that, you know, I want to try it Mm. because there's, I just see so many people, but I have been um, sticking with it Um, over the holidays. I kind of slacked a little bit, but not, not so much. I think it's just for me, inflammation is sugar and I'm not a big sugar person. But if I did have treats and stuff, I, I do notice the, sh- the sugar and I'm not a big alcohol drinker, but on occasion, if I have a drink, depending on what it is, and it's probably more because the sugar is in the alcohol as well, that I would notice that um, the inflammation, I wouldn't feel as great. Yeah. Um, but other than that, my first 11 day it was really great because within the four days I did feel like I came alive and that felt great. Mm. And I just kind of felt like a wackadoodle, like just being a crazy person, like, you know, Jesse, you know what I'm talking about. So that was like coming back. So that was like awesome. And, um, you got, I was your, mo- you my- got your mojo back, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was sitting at my desk and I was at the computer at work. And then I realized that for the first time in a long time that I actually felt my abs, like I could feel my muscles in my stomach. And I was just like, that was weird to me because Mm -hmm. that was just clean eating for four or five days. And then all of a sudden I just felt that. And it was great. I just, just felt great. Yeah. And it motivates you to to keep with it and motivates you to keep going and do more. And, you know, so it's very gratifying in that way. The body rewards us. Yes. That I want, I'm, I mean, I'm on everything. I watch everything. I might not be in the groups at the time. If I don't, if I'm not on the lives, Mm -hmm. you guys are in my ears. I got you on at work. That's all I listen to. I listen to, you know, the podcast and, you know, I listen to Mm -hmm. your wife. I think she's awesome. I always Thank listen you. to Crystal too. Yeah, she is. You guys are awesome. I can't You're wait awesome. to see you in Orlando. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it will be. I can't wait. I really can't wait. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Jesse's going to close us out. We do have one more okay. share, but okay. mad respect for you, Mighty Dragon Slayer. You slayed the beast. You put the butter on the beast. <laughs> I put the butter <laughs> on the beast. <laughs> I love that. (laughs) Oh, man. All right, Tammy. Thank you again. You're amazing. All right. Thanks for coming on on short notice, too. No problem. Well, guys, we've got one more share tonight. Bonnie Stahl, are you out there? Hi, hello. Hi, Bonnie. What do you got? Well, hello. You've got pictures behind you. (laughs) My before and after. I always have to update it. (laughs) I was I was just thinking to myself, you know, as I've told you before, it looks as though it's two completely different people. That's what happens when you're in a stress environment to an actual freedom. Mm. So Bonnie's going to share an update with us. Bonnie, how long have you been ER shredding? Since December 2020. You're one of our OGs. God, I love this. I love this, you guys, the sustainability. I hope it speaks to you out there, the the general public that's listening. I hope you're starting to realize this isn't some fad thing. We're not crazy. This actually works. And for the long haul, Bonnie Stahl, where are you calling from? From Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. What's your passion? I'm a massage therapist and I love healing people. Oh, that's beautiful. Yep. You've got a big heart. I know that. Bonnie, um, give us an update. What's your, what's your status update? Well, technically, the real reason why I want to share it, share this tonight is because I shared my two-year sobriety of Mm. no alcohol. Congratulations. And I um, also survived without no junk food and no restaurant. Sorry. Last thing I heard you say was you survived without junk food or restaurant, and then it went. Yeah, I had a phone call. Sorry. No problem. 
All right. Uh, I wanted to really mention that I, because of the ER shred protocol and how the community brought me into this, I decided to vow myself of not um, going into junk food or the restaurants that doesn't really serve me well. And I've been doing that for two years and two months going on right now. And then um, I decided to leave the toxicity and the negativity um, back in October of 2021. So it's been a year and five months of that as well. So I've toxic, been- Toxic workplace, right? Very much, yeah. yeah. So um, it's been incredible to just become who I have been <laughs> to where I have been like really become more better about myself. And because of these pictures, it shows that when it comes to stress environment and how the energy can drain you to versus where you can actually do your own thing and be free of being your own self. So that's what I've been sharing. Well, I'm touched. I'm very touched. Um, Bonnie, we love you. And Bonnie, guess what? Like, in terms of the, what I was talking about with Mimi, you know, you're also a Heart of ER Shred recipient. So is Tracy. Um, God, Bonnie, you have grown. Like I, the before and after picture, great. You know, that's fantastic. And that speaks volumes. And, you know, that's a new lease on life in and of itself. But what I think what we've all seen in you, um, the growth in, in, you know, in other ways has been astonishing. And I will never stop, um, you know, heaping praise upon you. And, you know, you, you deserve everything you've got going on for you right now in terms of your personal empowerment. You're overcoming. Um, you're a warrior. Yep. And, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, I was in a cocoon then became a butterfly because I entered out of my first family home in 2019. And then I recently got like so confused of what I can do independently because I had a lot of controlling authority against me. So it took me a long time to realize that why am I going back to my old habits again? Why am I doing this again? So from 2019 to 2020, I ended up back th into this and I was like 10 pounds before I even entered isogenics away from my actual weight that I used to be. So basically when it comes to stress and all the things that I was doing to myself in a nightly eat hours, um, it really got me into that, that position of like, I couldn't even care less about me. I was more of like, I was mostly in a massage world rather than actually doing my own thing. So it was more of like, how am I supposed to do anything for myself when I'm so reliable and so this and so that, and I'm like, where, where is where, where can I go for myself? And you know what, when it comes down to it, Jesse and Sean, you two have brought me out of that. Mm -hmm. And I actually entered my own massage business because of you two. Mm -hmm. I actually became who I am because I actually learned from you guys to understand that freedom is who you are, not being controlled by somebody else. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm. so it really brought me into this phoenix realm of like what what you see in me now <laughs> so everyone um i just want to give you guys a uh, a quick history um it was in halloween time frame when i did my first call i believe or my second call with you guys i was lady in red that was my hashtag my very first time and then um my coach really brought me into this like understanding that because of what you went through and what I went, went through was very bad. I felt like I was dying inside, uh, as you can see. So I actually came from the ashes and became a phoenix because I became the actual person that you see here. Mm. And it's all about how you can do self-awareness. I've decided to self-discipline myself rather than feeling like I need to be disciplined by somebody else. And then it felt like the freedom really gave me the power to help others. And I'm so grateful that everyone is like really coming to me and, and actually grabbing advice from me. And I barely had that throughout my, 
throughout my whole life. So that to me is gratifying. You deserve it. You deserve it. You have value. You bring value. And you know what? You care. I know you care about other people. Um, that's the ER shredder way. That's the shredder mindset. The shredder way is we help ourselves first. It's the oxygen mask thing. We help ourselves first. And when we get to that space that we we realize, oh my God, like I've I've come a long ways. Like I know what it feels like um to kind of be proud of yourself. Like Jesse says, like, give yourself that high five in the morning. Give yourself that high five. Put your hand on your heart. You know, we are worthwhile. We have value. And I've seen the growth in you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. And anybody that that you touch, this is for anybody out there that's watching this that is familiar with, familiar with Bonnie. Um, she's legit. She has certainty she can help you um and she operates from a very good genuine place i want to put that out there because i know you're actively sharing with others and i'm so proud of you for that and of course if you want to know some dance moves i'll, I'll do that too as well she 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 her dream was to be a dancer and you know what with er shred we can begin to dream again oh yeah <laughs> It's, so Jesse, it's, it's, uh, all I got to say is that I would love to be a uh, finalist or an income earner. And that is my main motivation goal right now mm -hmm. to just become the actual golden proof that anything is possible. Sure. If you actually go into the actual eating habits, learn how you do your own self-discipline and how you can actually learn that mentality is all based on what you go through in energy and, and the environment. So I really want to be in that in that beacon realm so I can be part of that in the ice body challenge as well. So beautiful, beautiful. There's depth there. And you're talking about the spillover and, and it's just, it's awesome. So thank you so much, Bonnie. We love you. We're going to turn it over to our uh, shred ambassador, our nutrition ambassador and our coach, Jesse, and he's going to speak to these results and close us out. Jesse, I know you're probably pretty, pretty excited about tonight. I am really excited. I can't do a backflip because I'm hurting right now, but I would do a backflip for everybody on this call. Is it um, your uh, is it the one you're holding there? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's interesting how it's interesting how you instinctively want to protect it. Dude, I I'm not there. I ain't gonna punch it. You're okay. I'd knock you out. It's all right. <laughs> um, but you know what? You keep making me laugh. So I, I gotta hold it so it doesn't like jiggle on me. Yeah. Um, you know. Gosh, this call is so crazy. They get they get like deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper every week. And it gets deeper and deeper and deeper the long you do the longer you do exactly what Tracy said. Just don't leave the group. Just don't leave the group. There is no failure. There is no accident. There is no I fell off. You just hit some speed bumps. It's called life, right? Don't leave the community. Community is one of the strongest forces on the face of this planet. Having your tribe alone by itself, exclamation mark, could radically change your life. We've watched it. We've watched it happen, right? You know, people feed and breathe life into other people. We are social connection animals. We are designed to be connected. This is why we see so much craziness that's happened over the last couple of years when we've been disconnected, right? On top of the health crisis and the, the, the stuff, I'll call it stuff, that people are dealing with, right? So I'm just so proud of every single one of you for showing up. You know, I, I forgot I forgot who said it, but whoever did kudos, I think it was Tracy too. But if it's just one person, oh no, I'm sorry, it was um, uh, Taylor, right? If it was one person that she touched, how cool is that to walk around in life every day when everybody's fighting and everybody's picking sides? And everybody's picking apart other people. And it's like, if I can just touch one more person, if I can just touch another human being, do you realize if you choose to live life like that, 
it radically shifts your own life. You help enough other people, you'll never have to help yourself. Like it just happens. That doesn't happen by accident. It doesn't happen by accident, right? So that's my charge for you to share this with other people. Don't let this be about you. It's not about me, it's not about you. It's about what we can do as a collective. And my God, look at what we've done over the last two and a half years. As a team, as a whole, as a tribe, the energy that we've put into the universe, God, that's going to keep coming back. It's going to keep coming back, right? I want to share one last thing with you that I learned. I'm always learning about new science, and I want to pass along whatever I learn to all of you. We didn't know any of this when we first started, obviously, right? And the more we keep, the, the more new science, Sean, that keeps coming out, I get like, I, I know I tell you about it all the time, and I'm like all geeked out, but check this out. The, there's a landmark study done in the, heart, uh, the, the, um, the Journal of Nature, which is like the Harvard of research journals just so everybody can, can kind of understand. It's like the platinum standard, okay? And they wanted to see how quickly they could change the gut bacteria, the microbiome. Now, if you understand anything about the human body, my friend, you are a walking Petri dish. <laughs> like, you, know, you are a walking, it hurts so bad. You are a walking Petri dish. You have more bacteria in your body than you do cells. Just understand this. Okay, 90% of us, 99% of us, if you understand the quantum space is air, we're, we're charged neurons, like we're, we're electricity, we're bacteria, we're cells, right? That's the basics of us. And they wanted to see how quickly, because we now know in science that heal the gut, heal yourself, exclamation point, like there's no argument. That's how important it is. The, the bacteria control your mood, control your your energy, control your thought, control your weight, control your muscle, control your skin, control everything, everything. And they did this study and they radically changed the diet of people from the standard American diet to basically what we're doing, what we're doing, right? We're smart and we're utilizing modern 21st century scientific advances. We're, we're fusing them together with the ancestral instinctive way, right? So we're doing it that way, but we're radically shifting, radically shifting. And check this out. How long did it take to change the microbiome? Three days. Three days. Now we start to think like, why are we so lit up after five days? Why are we so jacked up after 10? Why after 21 do we feel like we're like back in high school again? I can't tell you the definitive answer. I can't claim to know everything, but it's in the literature. It's in the literature, not my made up opinion. So don't leave the community. <laughs> Don't leave the group. Don't quit on yourself. You are worth it. You deserve it. And we will be here for you no matter what you need. We're not going anywhere mm. because this thing is only getting better and better and better. So just please keep showing up. That's my message for you tonight. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you. I'm going to put it on gallery. That's very, very heartfelt. Everybody, you can unmute. Say goodnight if you want. We love you all. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you, Lisa Oaken, for doing the call with Jesse last night. Amazing. Amazing. Awesome. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, you guys, Jesse will have a call next week on Tuesday. We won't, we won't have a come alive call next week. We'll have one the following. We'll keep you posted online. <laughs> Jesse, it I keeps see. getting, it keeps getting butter and butter and butter. Butter and butter and butter. Butter, butter. Butter. <laughs> Want to hear the butter, story butter. about the rib, Jesse? You got to share that on next week's call. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
It's a little embarrassing. There's only a couple of people that know that story. <laughs> I want to hear it. Have a good night, all. Great. Good night, guys. Good night. Thank you so Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Thank Philip. You Thank, you Thank you for being on, Philip. Thank you, Thank you. Vicky and Susanna, Tammy, Tracy, Bonnie. Ready. We love you all. Thank you. Thank love you, guys. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Jess. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.